I think Mahadeva is catching the bio memory and muscle memory more quickly, more powerfully. Swamiji, during the process, um, Ashwath, like uh, whenever like Ashwath vibrating, that time Ashwath saw uh, like very bright light. The moment Ashwath stopped, uh, like one black dot, it just expanded into darkness of the whole body and Ashwath started feeling hollow, Swamiji. Why? Good. What you are feeling is literally exactly your muscle memory getting caught with the intelligence. Uh, Swamiji, I was praying for the whole universe. Uh, they also experience Shivoham mm. and uh, the way you come in my life. And I pray that every creature, whatever form they are, we should also come in their life, please. Tatas! Thank you, Allah, I come in. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Swamiji. That's all. Swamiji, I am feeling a stretch over here, so my brain is trying to take some other shape also, trying to... <laughs> it's it is aligning, over here. aligning, it is aligning to this yantra. Okay, Swamiji. Not Shiva changing yantra. physically, not changing, not <laughs> It is actually, uh, if we put a QEG machine and see, there will be physical activity. Yeah, that's what the, too much stretching here. Yeah. It is actually physical activity, uh -huh. where your intelligence is given more uh, life, subtle grooves of your brain is awakened so that you understand the subtlest nuances of life and people mm -hmm. and the, the frontal lobe gets yes, continuously. more active, yes, yes. that's the third eye mm -hmm. and the unnecessary parts which does not need to function mm -hmm. get switched off like a panic attack. Mm -hmm. See, when, uh, when there is a uh, need for you to wake up and plan that component of your brain is awakened that's enough you don't need to get into panic attack we always justify oh unless I have a fear and I get the fear how will I protect myself alter my decisions and save my, myself and others no panic attack is not a requirement for you to be intelligently protecting you to you and the people belongs to you so those unnecessary components will be switched off. That is what is exact. If we put a QEG machine, you will see physical activity. Yes, go ahead. Mm. Okay. Um, it, it was like I was watching, I was inside of a spaceship watching um, all, a movie almost. Mm. And there were many, many triangles. And... Um, up through the middle of the triangles was coming a big, huge shaft of light. That is Mahadeva, Arunachala. And, and the triangles started to wiggle, you know, like they were starting to rev reverberate or vibrate. And then I felt like I was asleep, but I was, and I was dreaming, but I was awake, I guess, because I was sleeping. You did, you, know, you did not sleep, I know. You did not sleep, you were awake, you were awake. But I saw all of these visions, which I, did, I haven't had before, and I saw a big triangle filled with water, and it was, it was infinite. It was going down. And then I saw those big faces from the, com the temple, from Angkor Wat. See, the big uh, triangle filled with water is a Brahmanda Yoni, cosmic womb. The light shaft is the Brahmanda Linga. Cosmic Shiva. So is this the, is it, it looks like this is what creates the universe. Yes, source of universe. When they both unite, universe is created. They both are the source of the universe. So is that, can we, can we consciously create existence? I think you say, don't try to create by your visualization, by your mind, it will again go away. I will do it from your body. It will stay with you forever, forever. Okay, thank you. See, anything you imagine and get as a darshan, it will go away after some time. When your mood changes, when you start having SDHD about me, about you, whole thing will go away. But when I do it from your bio memory and muscle memory, it stays with you. I tell you guys, the result of this inner awakening, you will see it in your life. Because, I am cutting into your, your, uh, your 
what you what is your core i am not working on your superficial skin chalo see this inner awakening is just a gift i am giving it to people who listen to me when i said when i called whoever came whoever listen to me it's a gift yes go ahead so this time the process was very intense for me um i was sweating and uh, it was very hard then suddenly um just the triangles of the yantra appeared many many times in flashes and i started shivering and uh it felt like an ice bucket was jumped on me and i'm still freezing right now right right process you you had a right experience the the brain is getting aligned to the yantra and mahadeva you see mahadeva is a powerful cool energy cool but very powerful he will see uh, he will the, the coolness which catches you 10000 times more quickly which spreads 10000 times more quickly than the fire is mahadeva kailash freezing cold Mm. Swami ji, it just happened about three, four days back. It mm. was very funny, so I could not share. But, uh, what uh, I started dreaming of visualization, I don't know whatever. But I walked into a Mahadeva saloon, mm. and then Mahadeva is chiseling me, grinding me, my body. Then he puts chata on my head, he puts snake, and he gives me trishul. Mm. And then he says, "Okay, now go back to the planet Earth." And then suddenly, you know, I tried to tip him, and I realized, oh, sh- "This is Mahadeva. How can I tip him?" And, <laughs> really long temple corridor it just seemed like it was just going on and it seemed like there was a little person at the very end of it and then i also saw a lot of just sort of light and everyone saw i opened my eyes just to see if it was just from the ceiling it was much brighter than the ceiling and occasionally i saw some images of like eyes and this whole area is feeling almost kind of swollen great okay that that area of getting activated is third eye opening great actually mahadeva is too powerful he doesn't shake your body and all he simply enters into you that's all the body shaking and all will not be there much screaming body shaking and all will not be there much he just walks into you he just catches them swami ji swami ji a couple of days ago hmm. you mentioned did anyone open their eyes and see a empty chair hmm. would you know mm. if anyone experienced that would you be able to tell actually i cannot tell now but if you if i want i can go into that space again and download and get it swami ji uh. uh. i was stunned when you said that because that's exactly what i did uh. i for a fleeting moment my eyes opened uh. and i did, saw nobody on that chair and i thought what the heck has happened to swami ji and i close <laughs> and i close my eyes again and one of the reasons why i never responded when you said did anyone see an empty chair because i was so stunned uh-uh. that i for the first time in my life i experienced something that was worthwhile <laughs> <laughs> because please understand during the process i never move out of the chair i just get settled so if you have seen the empty chair you have seen something really real means that your frequency has gone into the system of shivoham it's happening already intensely yes so who else is yes, go ahead my heart is somewhat beating i have the sensation of beating here that's okay no problem don't worry yes go ahead so we see when i was holding the yantra um when you were beating the drums i started feeling kind of a pulsating energy mm. like a heartbeat mm. and it was running like a triangle triangle mm. and uh, the upper triangle actually, and the below actually triangle. when i create this sound it runs in the same l- that line form yantra form and enters into your system i mix this 
line into the sound and send it to your system. I wanted to mm. check whether it is really happening even afterwards. Mm. Now when I was trying to hold, of course it is not happening. Mm. Then that proved that yes, it was really happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. I see uh, Shiva in uh, Kailash mm. and he has a cloth, a uh, white color. Mm. And then I feel so much energy in the head and go down. So it was so beautiful. So it is Mahadeva maybe? It is Mahadeva. Okay, thank you. Yes, oh, go ahead. Friend, friend over here. Uh, Swamiji, I was feeling, um, it was like the body was feeling like very heavy. That is also, a, as I said, Mahima. And the city uh, of Mahima. And the thing was, I couldn't get any visions. But just the presence, the awareness was there. Good. In India, I wanted to bring one lakh kids and making every temple should become a Gurukul also. Every temple should become a Gurukul. All our temples should become Gurukul and having few lakh kids. They can either get married and become Goswami or they take sannyas and become Swami. That is their freedom. But they will be standing up for the Vedic tradition, learning Upanishads and all the spiritual truths. When they grow up itself, they will grow up with this experience of Shivoham. When they grow up, they will radiate all this to the world. I think that is the only way I visualize, I see the revival of Vedic tradition happening and that is the only way I feel the world can be protected, preserved from all these natural and man-made man calamities. I myself going to go for Madhagari Bhiksha just for this one project. Just for this one project. One lakh kid Gurukul. One lakh kids Gurukul. I am going to go for Madhagari Viksha. Whoever wants to give, whatever you can give, just for this project. Kids are my only hope for the Vedic tradition, revival of Vedic tradition. Revival of this spiritual tradition. Yes, go ahead. So, I felt, I didn't feel my body. Mm. But I felt like I was expanding and lengthening through my spine. I've mm. been in excruciating pain in my back and shoulder and I felt no pain I was so happy so thank you for that and then towards the end I felt as if an energy entered my body it was almost overwhelming it was just running through my arms my legs Mahadeva and enters like that only <laughs> and it was really incredible Great. thanks so during this during this process the energy will be flowing continuously into my head and this area Good. Yeah, and it will be fully, the blank will be fully, the energy will be constantly going inside Swamiji. Good. Okay. Swamiji, uh, at the beginning of the process, I saw myself growing big, then I saw Maheshwara, then I saw you growing, growing big, big, big. To like, I had to really look up to see you, you were so big, it was day that time, and suddenly it has become dark universe, and then you merge into the entire universe. I could feel something very cool over here, though I was like feeling hot, something was... Tatast. Thank you, Swamiji. I think uh, Mahadeva does deeper process and powerful work. I can see. Swamiji, all these uh, visualizations, mm. how does it translate one into the… It's actually uh, because of the bio-memory catching the Shiva's fire, okay. these visualizations appear in front of you. Okay. They will just uh, drop. Okay. But that bio-memory stays with you. That's all. Okay. Swamiji. So, there is, these visualizations are only like a signboard. Okay. Oh, th that means you are like uh, tuning to the frequency of that. Okay. You, uh, this, this is the right sign. Okay. Shivam is happening. You are not wasting your time here okay. or sleeping. That's all. Okay. Okay. Am I anywhere closer to that frequency? You are, you are, you are much, much. Otherwise, I will, the Trishul get into your system. Okay, sir. Come on. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, Nirguna said that she suffered a little, uh, suffered me, even a lot from the back, uh, back pain. It'll, and then she, it'll she, become all right. And then she saw many beings and she saw you as an acharya, but you were not smiling at all, so she smiled at you. Okay. 
சுவாமிஜி எனக்கு இந்த லாஸ்ட் ப்ராசஸில் ரெண்டு அனுபவம் நடந்தது சுவாமிஜி பிடதி வைத்தியஸ்வரர் லிங்கத்துலேருந்து அப்படியே என்னோடய ஆஞ்சா சக்கரத்தில் ஒரு பெரிய ஒளி வந்து உள்ளே இறங்கிச்சு சாமி அதுக்கப்புறம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு நிறைய கொசுக்கு வந்து அப்படியே மூஞ்செல்லாம் கிடைக்கிது உண்மையிலே கிடச்சிது ஆனால் யூஸ்வலாக நான் வந்து எப்போவுமே கொசு கிடச்சா அடிச்சிருவேன் இந்த ஒரு மணி நேரமும் நான் அப்படியே சிவோகம் சிவோகம்னே சொல்லிகிட்டே இருந்தேன் ஒரு கொசு தான் அடிக்க தோணலை அதை பேர் பண்ணுற அளவுக்கு மனப்பக்கம் வந்தது in the first process i just like cried 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 and i felt like my heart was like expanding and i felt like deep deep compassion and in this process it was amazing i was like in the ashram and i was meditating in the banyan tree and you were there in front of me and you were also meditating and we felt into samadhi and then i started looking at every galaxy and then I like a huge light exploded into my crown chakra and then it reflected into your heart and it like exploded into the world like you was healing everyone in the world and then I became like a small 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 seed and you planted it and I grew like a golden tree and I connected like with the banyan tree and I became like one with the banyan tree and Bata. it was beautiful thank you so much blessings so much go ahead Swami ji I had no vision of anything mm. but I only could see Nitya Kashi mm. where only shivlings are there mm. huge shiva temple mm. and uh, the children are having a vedic patshala where early morning you could hear only the vedas being which you are going to do in kayavarahan now i know yes <laughs> <laughs> and i could not see anything but this happening so and when you open your eyes i am telling that this should be done <laughs> swami ji yes Yeah, I felt heat throughout the process in my mm. eyes. Mm. Good. Okay. Swamiji, mm. the visualization people are sharing is all a store images in the nerves or? No, 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 no. When I am left and right cutting across into their bio memory and cleaning their muscle memory, these are all like a, it is like a, when me and them rub, what happens is this visualization. It is like a, me and them are having a direct encounter so what comes out is this visualization so some part of his already was there so it's coming out or okay. i can't say that some part of it which was already there is coming out it's like a spontaneous encounter so amji during the second process uh. during the first half mm. it was somewhat like unconscious and it was in a different state mm. suddenly the spine got straight mm. and then the hands everything tightened with the entra mm. and then sundaresh was clearly able to see in the ananda ganda area mm. it started burning mm. and the yantra just the inner circle along with the triangle golden started revolving in that mm. area and then when you told let mahadeva fill you mm. the whole area when in the close day itself everything became white instead of dark everything became white and then everything just started landing inside like chill snow everywhere but inside it is hot that area alone and then when you were hitting the drums usually sometimes the body will go back and something but this time the body started becoming huge 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 and as if roots were moving out of the spine mm. then at last when the you told settle down settle down then like the roots spread everything came in and then the body just lifted off you saw the right darshan tatast swami ji mm. um what i was wondering is um how come um i'm trying to word it correctly um if that chair experience i had was in, in any indication that i am on the right track i'm just wondering why i don't have this urge to go to yoga or even this morning's incident should that never I, have happened no, that that you that your voluntary decision you have the voluntary choice also it's not oh. that your voluntary will is completely locked i see i thought i had a better sense in responding better <laughs> you'll have to start doing it now you got to talk i beg your pardon you will have to start doing it now okay so uh, this thing about going to yoga in the morning i have to drag myself yes there. you have to drag yourself but it wouldn't change will won't no, it no 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 it will change but first few days you have to drag okay swamiji so, 
Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Hmm. It's just that the visualizations which happen hmm. are very fleeting. Sort of the lights come hmm. or some Sri Chakra. Hmm. I mean, I do not see any triangles and things like that. That is okay. But no uh, am, am I, if I don't get any visualizations, that like, is okay. are we that on is the right track? Okay. Don't worry. Hmm? It, it, it's what, what needs to be done is happening. Just hang on in the train. Even if it's a third class compartment, toilet seat, hang on. <laughs> you'll reach it. <laughs> and Swamiji, one more thing. Don't get down from the train. That's all. Swamiji, I want to tell two things. The first is, uh, every time you used to say Shivoham or beat, uh, the drums, uh, like I used to have some thoughts, some disturbing thoughts in my mind, that it just used to dissolve. I just forget what it w what was going on, and that's the good. The second thing is, Swamiji, I don't have any visions. Mm. So how do we know how close we are? That is that is. See, if you don't have any visions, that is not the thing. You are not progressing. Don't worry about it. You don't need to constantly judge you. This when I held a um, uh, yantra in my hand, mm. both the hands. Mm. Yeah, it started vibrating, uh, that pulsating mm. this thing. Good. Dum, 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 and then this one. Then afterwards, uh, the vision later I got was uh, two eyes, mm. black face, mm. but the eyes was even, it was blood red. Mm. But uh, it was not angry or something, but so much of love and compassion in it. Good. And from that, I got a rays like thing which hit me over here and my whole she uh, she's facing me and the whole my whole body became blue good and uh, and it started expanding expanding like when you the whole thing was so expanding as though when you do the weight lifting how your muscles and all expand mm -hmm. i mean the whole life i have not done any exercise but this process made me do i feel good and so much of uh, this and i had that muscle pain lot mm -hmm. of muscle pain but uh, afterwards it relaxed uh, so. actually you are losing weight did he yeah. did anyone tell you yes many told me. <laughs> go ahead so, first half of the process, I had all sorts of visions, mm. like they were not related, randomly came up. But uh, maybe half, the second half, I just lost it. Like I had all sorts of pains and I kept on saying, Swamiji, can we have a break, this and that. So, was I, <laughs> off, the, was I off the train in the second half or? You don't need to worry, leave it. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um, I'm asking for Joanna next to me because she lost her voice. Um, so she says, for the last two or three days, my mind has been very restless and noisy. Could you silence my mind so I can fully Blessings. experience the process? Go ahead. So I'm watching the first process. It was like before the process started, I was sitting behind uh, over here. And uh, I wasn't able to see you, but then I was like, okay, chalo, at least today I'm on this side. So I was very happy. And then during the process, I saw, I, I felt so much heat getting radiated within, but then I saw like literally saw the whole place turned into Kailasa and it was so amazing because yesterday only I was telling my uh, friend back home that you know I am in Kailasa for Mahadeva, with Mahadeva, as Mahadeva and it was so wonderful today that this whole place turned into Kailasa Tata. and then I saw on the tip of your Trishul Swamiji Rudraksha beads started appearing and it just went into me Good. and then Swamiji when I opened my eyes at the end of that process Beautiful thing, Swamiji. Uh, no, just before I opened, I saw a silhouette, Swami. Curly hair, Mahadeva silhouette I saw. And then I was like, oh, I wish I could see this Mahadeva just now, like properly itself, not just the silhouette. I opened my eye at the end of the process and literally the whole thing had cleared and I could see you and you were smiling. <laughs> How do you know if you're missing the Shivoham experience or you're catching it? You are catching it, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Swamiji, mm. so the first process, I just froze. Mm. I thought something is uh, happening within me. Mm. The second process, the moment the process started, I again froze for some time and then my entire life flashed in front of me. Mm. It just went like really fast, but I could pick each and every moment of high, high self-drive and the peaks and valleys. Mm. Then everything got into some pattern. Then all the relationships I had, the fulfilling relationship, it all flashed mm. and suddenly it just went blank mm. and then I felt I was sitting in the foot Powerful of the mountain. Powerful aligning and completion is, is happening. The foot of the mountain and suddenly I froze in front of the river 
and suddenly I just looked up and saw, I saw it was Mount Kailash and suddenly, I don't know, somehow I started overflowing and um, the joy of tears started flowing down my, uh, you know, eyes. It, you know, it, it I, I couldn't find out whether it was 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes, but I was just soaked in it and then again I just got up and I just lo uh, looked at the mountain. I saw you dancing there and just smiling at me and said, okay, come on, let's just uh, enjoy. <laughs> and then I started uh, smiling, Swamiji. That's all. As I said, essence of Hinduism, live happily. <laughs> Thank you, Swamiji.